Hi, I'm Andrew Allen, a junior communication major from Texas. Graduation is approaching and we have great news about what's been happening this school year, including the launch of two new programs designed to help make college more affordable. Just a few weeks ago, Union announced Scholarship Universe, a tool that searches a vast database of scholarships offered by organizations across the country and uses student profiles to find the best fit. Scholarship Universe then walks students through the application process, making it easier to apply for thousands of dollars in aid. And this school year, Union announced the SAVE Scholarship, a pilot program that helps students hold down student debt. Oh man, I do not like debt. It's a little scary. <laughs> One of these overhanging, looming, scary things that people face. Our Board of Trustees, they started to look at an issue that they felt like was really important, and that was the issue of student debt. They felt like our students needed to be graduating with less student debt. It's a, it's a national problem. Everybody's experiencing this, everybody's struggling with it. So the SAFE Scholarship is basically a work match scholarship that when you work on campus and deposit it directly towards your student account, uh, Union College will match a 50% match towards that. I was actually here on campus, like moving in, and I got the email about the SAFE Scholarship. And I was like, oh wow, like this is really cool. I would tell them that it was a brand new scholarship, something new and exciting. Uh, try to emphasize that they would be getting free money out of this. <laughs> Uh, just for things that they may already be doing. Um, I got a text from him saying that I was eligible to get this scholarship and that was really helpful. So we started with we started with 25 students. Um, this next year we're hoping to grow it to 55 students. So for me personally, I put 100% of my um, to it, or my money I make towards it and so I get 50% of that match and it's really great. I love it. Well, when I'm like older and have an actual job and stuff, I don't want to spend like years and years and years paying off like all this debt. So I do feel like the SAVE scholarship and other scholarships that Union has will help me with that. It's been exciting to see all the renovations happening around campus, creating spaces that make it easier for students to learn and grow. Hi, my name is Jody Trana, and we're here in the Advent Health Innovation Classroom that we've designed to increase collaboration and innovation here at Union College to strengthen those soft skills that are going to make our students really valuable in the workplace. And you can see we have students here working on touchscreen TVs. We like to have that collaboration happening, and we have glass boards where they can also innovate and come up with new ideas. Advent Health generously offered to provide the funds for this classroom. They wanted us to create an environment, something that the students would appreciate and that would enhance their experience here at Union. And we have been so pleased to have been recipients of that and we feel that the classroom has indeed created a much enhanced experience for our students. Hi, I'm Stephanie Ponce, a junior nursing major from Washington. Union's nursing program has seen a lot of exciting changes and milestones over the past few months. First, we have a new director. Alicia Akengay took over leadership of the nursing program in January. She has taught nursing at Union for 12 years. This spring, the Nebraska State Board of Nursing accredited the program for another five years with no recommendations, meaning we have an outstanding program. In fact, the site visitor specifically noted that Union's program is one of the only two in the state with a certified nursing simulation instructor running our simulation lab. Union's nursing graduates once again scored the top first-time pass rate on the NCLEX RN in Nebraska for 2021. Union's medical programs train students to make a difference around the world. This spring, the Global Health Nursing class traveled to Peru during spring break and International Rescue and Relief seniors spent two months in Malawi. Both groups worked in clinics gaining experience and providing healthcare to populations who often don't have access to quality care. Here's some video from the IIR team in Malawi as they worked at Molomulu Hospital.
Sharon and I have been following the surgeons here, kind of shadowing, getting to see some of what they do, whether that's rounds, like this morning we just finished seeing the different post -op patients, or on Friday we got to see about five different surgeries, which was really neat. Um, so an amputation, um, a maxillectomy, some skin grafting and it just really depends on the resources and supplies they have available today there's not as much because there's they're out of some supplies but um, we'll still see what they get to do today and some of the patients Union also provides many opportunities for service close to home at community organizations including Clinic with the Heart, People City Mission, and Matt Talbot McKitchen and Outreach. In fact, each month the nursing and PA programs partner to run a foot clinic at Matt Talbot to care for the feet of Lincoln's homeless. told me his story um, and I really appreciated helping him especially because he walked so much throughout the the week and the day trying to get to work bus stop to bus stop so it was really nice helping him with that problem. I think it's a great thing for us to do so that people remember it's not about the money or anything like that it's just always about serving people and just reminding us you know what God has called us to do what he did when he was here. You know, she was really happy with my treatment or the way how I did it, so that made me happy. I mean, it feels like I actually did a difference today. It is healthcare. It's taking care of people um, physically. Um, but I think on a deeper level, probably just um, maybe emotionally and, and spiritually too. Similarly to Jesus and washing uh, feet that he washed his disciples' feet. I feel like it's humbling. Um, it makes me kind of hopefully a better caretaker by being more of a servant and realize that humility is, is everything. I'm Quinn Gillespie, a freshman elementary education major from Oregon. A key part of Union's mission focuses on creating an environment that helps students grow spiritually. Campus Ministries plans lots of great worship events and programs, but it is students like Hasiel who actively share their faith with the students around them that really make Union special. My freshman year started 2019-20, and that fall, like I said, and towards the end of it, I started realizing like, oh man, this is going to be hard. It seemed that my peers were also struggling with a lot of things. You know, first time being here, you know, anxious about what's going to happen. Am I in the right career? Things like that. And so 
in my mind started this, I was like, man, like, I want to pray. I want to pray with students. I want to pray with faculty. So the first time um, I walked into this empty classroom because I'm like, well, I need a spot. You're right. Um, and I said, I'm going to just do it here. And so I sat down and I prayed and you know, I said, God, give you the words. Opened up my laptop, got on you groups. And I was like, all right, here we go. And, hey, um, I would like to invite you to pray with me. I can pray for you. I'm in such such room. I'll be here from this time to this time. I typed it all up and then I erased it and then I typed it all up again and I looked at it and I read it a couple of times and I erased it and then I typed it up a fourth time I think about the fourth time where I was like okay this sounds good this sounds good and I sent it and I was nerve-wracked and I was like okay God here it goes and so that's kind of what the first time was like and nobody came nobody showed up nobody emailed <laughs> it was just crickets and I did it again the next day and the next day and I tell you the first uh, First semester I did it, I maybe got two or three people to stop by the whole semester. People were looking at me that I've never seen before here at school. And they're like, hey, you're you're Hasil, you're the one that prays for us, right? And I was like, oh yeah, I, have never told I just want to thank you for that. The first time I remember seeing Hasiel's invitation to come join him in prayer was on U Groups one day in middle of the week when I was just up to my neck in homework, stressed out by the constant flow of, of deadlines. And it was just this warm welcome that was hard to say no to. We prayed together and I felt that my heart was made right with the Lord for whatever challenges were that day. I have seen a lot more fruit of it this semester. Um, I mean a lot, it's been great. I really, I'm fond, I feel so good doing God's will. It feels good to me. I, like, I, I really enjoy it because I like seeing God at work. Thanks for allowing us to share some of the exciting things happening at Union College. Thank you for all the ways you support us. Please keep Union in your prayers.